This is the time when the Chiefs are in rebuild mode. And for the Chargers, they are in win now mode. 25, second and 10 to the end zone again, and it is intercepted. You got to fight for your right to party. Kansas City, we did it, baby. We're en route to the Super Bowl. A Super Bowl 54 rematch against the San Francisco 49ers. Uh, that, that was Mahomes' first Super Bowl win a couple years ago, so I'm sure the 49ers are going to look to get some sort of revenge. Obviously, they're going to try and win, as the Chiefs are going to try and win as well. Um, so, I mean, it's going to be a good game. Me, personally, I wanted the Lions um, to win because uh, it would have been pretty cool. The first game of the season, Chiefs and Lions, and the last game of the season, Chiefs and Lions. It would have been also cool to get... A rematch, the Chiefs lost in week one against them, but they also didn't have Travis Kelsey, and uh, with Travis Kelsey, we would have won. So, um, I, you know, it didn't happen. Lions blew their lead. They they had it. They had a 24-7 lead. They blew it. So we're going to be playing the San Francisco 49ers. Great team, great coaching. Brock Purdy's on fire. Christian McCaffrey's playing his best football ever. Uh, it's going to be a great challenge for Steve Spagnuolo, Matt Nagy, Andrew Reid, and this whole Chiefs team. In yesterday's win against the Baltimore Ravens, a reporter asked Marcus valdez Scantling how it felt knowing that he sent the Kansas City Chiefs to the Super Bowl. And here's what he had to say. Hey, it was never me, man. I got a great team around me. You know, no matter what the outside say, man, we know what we got in this room. And we got in this building. And it's showing right today. What's it going to take to win the Super Bowl? Keep being us, man. Keep being resilient. Battling through adversity. That's what we've been doing all year. We back at it. Scanley helped make the game-winning catch to help send the Chiefs to the Super Bowl in yesterday's game. Uh, Marcus Brother Scanley has dealt with a lot this season. He's dropped multiple game-winning passes, multiple catches. He's been under fire all season. And me, personally, I, I, was, I was back and forth. I didn't like him at some times, and then I was trying to give him more chances. Uh, but uh, here's my take on this. He redeemed himself. He Not only did he do awesome in the Buffalo game last week, he did another, he did awesome again in a bigger game. He did way better uh, in the playoffs than in the regular season. I'm proud of him. Now, I don't know if he did enough to where the Chiefs are going to want him back. I would I would assume they do pop, probably want him back. Uh, but I'm also going to think that he needs to take a little bit of a pay cut if he wants to stay in a Chiefs uniform. Uh, that's assuming also, to, I don't think Kadarius Tony is going to be uh, playing anymore with the Chiefs. Um, He's been, you know, backstabbing the Chiefs a little bit the last couple of days. So I think Kadarius Tony played his last game as a Chief. Uh, and uh, I think that gives Marcus Valdez Scantling a better chance to return, but he needs to take a pay cut. I, I, can't, I can't see Marcus Valdez Scantling coming back without taking a pay cut because. And then not only did Marcus Valdez Scantling step up yesterday, Dion Bush, backup safety. Practice squad player Dion Bush stepped up and picked off Lamar Jackson in the end zone. Uh, I mean, he, I mean, he arguably saved the game too. There's, there's a, there's a lot of heroes for the Chiefs in the game yesterday that you know aren't big names. Dion Bush, he's a practice squad guy. He's always had a decent career, but he's a practice squad guy. Marcus Valdez Scantling coming off a very rough year and to play how he's played the last two weeks in the playoffs, it's awesome. So. Uh, the Chiefs, they, they got momentum, and it's funny to see after they after the Chiefs start not beating themselves, they get pretty dangerous. Uh, and listen, 49ers, you better watch out because we're coming to town, and we're going to beat you just like in Super Bowl 54, and we're going to get back-to-back -back Super Bowl champion Lombardi trophy. If you want the Chiefs to win against the 49ers again, make sure you like, share, subscribe. Peace.